Hey everyone, I am Zakasi and welcome back to Colony Survival, the actual game. You know, I'm not gonna trick you again. <laughs> I hope I got someone good with that at least. I hope, I hope I got someone. At least one person with that joke there pretty good. Cause I'm, I was like, huh, wouldn't it be funny if I just kinda messed, uh, messed with them just, just a little bit by making it so that, oh, happiness is down. That, uh, <laughs> I made them think that they were going to the wrong game or I titled it wrong or something. I, I thought that'd be pretty funny. So, uh, I hope I got at least one of you out there. Be, be honest now. Don't, uh, don't think I, don't, don't think I couldn't get you. Be honest about it if you, if I did. But yeah, anyways, we're back with Colony Survival. Um, I've gotten over the happiness loop. I, I pretty much conquered it. It might be a negative 19 now, but uh, happiness is at the rise. The only thing that's not really getting there right now is candles, and that's because I've got undershirts, wax tablets, and, you know, more things that require uh, linen and beeswax and the candles do. I also have some perpetuals do, and some luxury meals. Holy crap, I have a lot of luxury meals. I need to increase that to a few more a day to get the happiness up. But yeah, I'm starting to... I, I've pretty much gotten over the happiness type thing. You know, that, that's not something that's stopping me now. The one, so, I'm in a pretty good spot. The only thing that's stopping me is how long it's going to take for construction to finish. Um, because I need uh, my herb, the flax and herbs fields finished. So, the last one is going to be right there. It's going to be the small one. I don't remember what I was going to put there. I think it was going to be flax again. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I, I finally gotten over the thing. And I think I had some science completed, didn't I? Where's my science table? There you are. Hey, little buddy, what are you making? Oh, yes, yeah, life science bag. Um, do I have anything else I can... Requires a life science bag? Really? Really? Uh, my health increase... My personal upgrades require colonists and... Huh, and happiness requirements. That's strange. That's interesting. Huh. I honestly didn't expect that to be a thing. Basic science bag, high lock, uh, basic science bag, wrought iron. Uh, you know what? I could probably go for some lanterns. Yeah, give me those. I need something better than torches to see in the night. Especially since my areas are getting uh, bigger, it's kind of harder to have the co torches cover them. Be nice to have some lanterns. Anyways, um... Do I have any? Oh, I do have some wrought iron, so I can do that research, too. Excellent, 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 excellent. If you guys almost finished, by the way, not even close. Only one of you is working right now. Oh, that's nice. Why am I burpy? I have literally eaten nothing today. Uh, well, not nothing, but uh, since I woke up at 11.30, I've eaten nothing. All I've done is drink water and milk so I can get my throat... Uh, rehydrated so I don't trip over words like I normally do. I try to at least. Uh, that, that fails though. I trip over words so much. I don't know why. Just my understanding of the human English language. Human English language. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie. That one was set up a little bit. But point still stands. You can go back in any video of mine and you could probably see me Messing it up at least once. At least once, you know? So, that's just fantastic how I can't speak my own native tongue. I mean, just wonderful. I'm going to put... Actually, how... Yeah, I'm going to put... A crate right here so he doesn't have to go very far compared to the other guy. Yeah, that would be good. And I'll just take that out once it's finished. <sighs> Things are going good. Things are going good, they're going strong, I have literally pretty much no complaints. Look at that, happiness is at 51. Unemployed is 5. I'm just literally waiting for these two schmucks right here to finish digging this out, and then I'll employ the others to start you know, taking this out and finishing the other like, ha three, th third of my base, I think. Yeah, third of my base. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, third. Third of my base, I think. <laughs> Roughly. Not not fourth, because this would be a fourth. One, two, three, four. Yeah? 
I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't don't question me. I just woke up ten minutes ago, and I am very, very not uh, in it today. Also, the colonists—they walk around like they, the unemployed colonists before they would just like uh, stand at the banner and do nothing. But now they walk around. I I like it. I like it. it makes them seem a bit more uh, hum human human. Colonists? I don't know. Something about them doesn't seem very AI-ish, though. Eh. You know, strange, if you ask me. Did you finish this already? No, you still got some ways to go. You must be... Must be going through what the Bronze Anvil guy is saying. Oh, speaking of that. Bronze Anvil. I don't know why I brought this up. But I do have crossbow guys. I'm starting to get some, you know, crossbow people in. And, uh, monsters so far... It's been a lot harder for them to get in and actually kill my colonists, so I'm doing pretty good on the defense side, too. Once I get to the stage where I... Oh, the planters is ready. Okay, cool. Perfect. Once I get to a stage where I can, I'm going to start opening up uh, the other entrances and placing guards there. Because if I do that, that'll mean that there'll be less monsters, you know, coming in through the one entrance, and I can spatiate them out. Yes, spatiate is incredibly a word that goes in that sentence of perfect grammar. Um, I can space these guys out a lot, a bit more thin, I guess it would be, and still have every entrance covered good enough so that none of the monsters will get in. I'll put daytime guards and everything on it, um, but I won't need to have an entire entrance uh, built up with guards. I can, because more of the monsters will be dispersed to the other entrances to where they, uh, to the, uh, area of which they spawns, you know? So it'll be nice, but as it's getting to be nighttime, I will see you all in the morning. All right, and it's morning again in Colony Survival, and I need to defend my colony, because holy crap, there's a lot of monsters. Uh, so, okay, yeah, this, this is going to be fun. You're just going to see me killing, killing these little guys, or not little guys, these horrendous evil creatures for, like, two minutes. <laughs> I mean, look at them. Look at how many there are. That's a lot of them. And if my guards go uh, away before I can get to the point of not having this many on there, I'm going to be in trouble. That was mine, you sheep little... Mm, that was mine. I. You dare take a kill away from your king. Well, I will have you know I could kill you right now in one hit. You don't have the health of these green guys. You can't take two crossbow hits. I could kill you right now, but as I'm being merciful, I shan't. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I sound like an idiot. Okay, but yeah. I, don't, don't you fall in... Alright. Well, I guess he's dead. I can't really tell him what to do, can I? He can fall in my... Oh, no. This is what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. I'm not losing counts. No. No, 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 no. I, I'm sorry to show you all this, but I'm not losing colonists. No. Not this time. Not until I can place morning guards up. Okay? So, that's been my little secret as to how to not get everyone killed. You can burn me at the stake later for it. <laughs> but that's what I've been doing. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little thing. And colony survival literally only takes like a few seconds to load up, and I know I could make it so that uh, where is it? Manage colonies, select... No, it's not this one. Uh, settings, I think it is. Video, gameplay. It's actually in the thing. It, 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 you remember how I was trying to figure out how I, uh... Colony says... Oh, yeah, here we go. How I was trying to figure out, like, how to set monsters amount. I could set it to none. Or I could not use happiness if I wanted to. Or I could set daytime monsters, but I'm not going to mess with it now. No. My colony isn't at a point where it needs the extra challenge of more or less monsters. I, I'm struggling enough as it is to deal with the monster that is the happiness system. So, if you're wondering, that's why. Yeah. I, I, I just went ahead and finished the whole construction thing right here during the middle of the night, and now they're... Why isn't it showing? Oh, they finished it already. Alright, cool. I, I've just been doing, I just finished the construction myself and I've been making it so that they do it like this. 
It seems to be a bit faster than the way they used to do it. I don't know if that's really accurate, but uh, you know, it's kind of what I've been finding. Because instead of having to... Oops. Give me that back, thank you. Instead of having to go through, like, big, giant chunks of it, they can just go through a row and a row and a row. Um, so, yeah, it's not bad. It's not, it's not a bad system. Five, six, seven. Oh, I guess I have seven. That's why I, I thought I only had six. Well, perfect. That's great. I can... Th this will probably get done today, then. Yeah, that's nice. Um, this one will be right here. So, poof into there and right there. Yeah, I know, I know this is a construction job. Thank you. Thank you for telling me about the construction job that I already placed down. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, they... I've noticed that they tend to go a little bit faster when they're not doing multiple... Thing, multiple layers at once. Huh. Interesting. A anyways, this is interesting. Um, I also have olive farmers back, and trees are being planted. I had a situation with the olive farmers. I uh, had trees here planted as well, but uh, since the stairs right here uh, align, you know, with the trees, monsters could just walk onto it, and since trees were all the way over here, monsters could literally walk onto my thing and kill my guards, so I had to change that pretty quick. Um, and I did need a cabbage patch, kid. I did need a cabbage patch, so, you know, it's a good spot for it. I can raise my children and eat them later. You know, it's a cir circle of life. And the colonists who are raised from them are happy to take part. They know that their young are needed to feed them right now. I mean, it's, how can you not look at these guys and think Cabbage Patch? I mean, look at them. Don't they look exactly like the cabbages? Look at those square faces. And it's almost identical. The parental differences parental likeness is astonishing it's almost like it's almost like uh, I mean they're grown in cabbage patches Isn't that what I said though Zach you should learn to shut up and go with the joke when you need to okay <laughs> um, but yeah uh, I don't really know what else to say but it's going good in college survival there's not much to comment on not much for me to rant right now and Generally, everything's going good. It, it, it's shocking. I mean, I even, uh, happiness is up right now again. It's at 60. I mean, my God. I have, I have so much happiness. I have so much happiness, so much food, so much everything. Look at my food. I got zero bread and 100 berries and 30 luxury meals and two perpetual stews. That's not a lot of food. <laughs> and 63 cooked fish. I need more bread makers. That's what it was. I that's actually what it was. I needed more bread makers. That's the problem I was having, wasn't it? Okay, yeah. Cuz I still don't have enough to keep up with the demand of supply. I have enough uh I have enough grinders because as you can see wheat is down to, you know, zero and everything, but I still need more bakers to make the bread. So I'll put I'll put two bakers right here. No, I didn't want to, no. Put it right there. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, everything... Everything is, uh... It's pretty good in our world of colony survival here that we've got. Like, nothing... Nothing to comment on. We're doing great. We're all, we're all doing great here. Uh, so... With that being said, we've only got a few minutes left of the video. So... And I completely forgot to ask because I'm a big dumb idiot. How's everybody's day going? I was going good out there. Mine's going good. I gotta work in like how many? Three hours? Three, yeah, three hours. So it'll be a possibly good day at work if I don't get yelled at like normal. <laughs> Seriously, every time every time you go into work at the place I work, it's kind of a gamble whether or not you're gonna screw something up and get um uh yell that by the boss or have, have him do some have have him get someone to do it for him because he's too busy or something like that um it's always a gamble so i guess it keeps things interesting but that's kind of the really interesting that i don't like because i don't want to i don't want to be constantly bitched at it's not a fun thing 
Definitely not a safe thing if you want to keep your job, too. But anyways, uh, it's going to be nighttime, and as you know, since it's the second day, that means it's the end of the video. So, I will be ending it here. And if you liked what you saw, you know, maybe hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you can see when I post. And don't forget to leave a like and comment, too, about what games I can play in the future, as well as what I can do to improve the games that I'm already playing. Because I really appreciate it. It helps a lot with what I still have to figure out editing and recording-wise to make my videos better in general for you to watch and experience. Uh, anyways, until the next video, goodbye everyone.